Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well and a big warm welcome if you're new here. This video is all about shorts and I'm sharing 12 do's and don'ts of how to style them and how not to style them if our legs are maybe not quite what they once were. Now I know that ladies of our age tend to shy away from wearing shorts and of course if you don't feel comfortable wearing shorts I totally get that but if you think you're too old to wear shorts maybe think again because if selected carefully and styled correctly they can be a modern comfortable and flattering addition to your wardrobe. So I'm sharing some styling tips on what works and what doesn't work, what to wear with shorts and how to look your best to give you more confidence so if you like wearing shorts or if you just wanted to try them out. Now just before I get into the video I wanted to say that we're currently on holiday in California at the moment and filming today in the hills outside San Diego. So a huge thank you to my cousin and his wife for letting us, let's say, lending us his home and garden to film and it is absolutely stunning here. More of which later when you see my clothes outfits. So let's kick off first of all with the first of my 12 do's and don'ts and the first one is a do which is number one do consider your body shape and height when selecting a pair of shorts. Now one of the key ways to getting it right with shorts and looking balanced and setting your figure off to best effect is to select a pair of shorts with your body shape and your height in mind. So for example, shorter ladies, perhaps five foot four and under, as I am, as a general rule, and obviously this is an individual thing, but they tend to look better in slightly shorter shorts as they look more balanced by showing a little bit more skin, which gives the illusion of longer legs. Now I'm not saying short, 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 shorts, of course, but an inch or two in inseam makes a big difference. It also depends on your leg shape and what you feel right in. So shorter shorts would be around four to five inches of inseam. Taller ladies, on the other hand, look fabulous in Bermuda shorts or knee length shorts, which can look a little bit frumpy if you're under about five foot two, as they shorten the look of the legs and widen the lower body. Taller ladies can get away with much longer shorts, say up to 11 inches inseam and still look balanced. Mid length shorts are generally flattering for most of us, inseam of five to 10 inches according to what you feel comfortable in. So I want to illustrate the difference a couple of inches of inseam can make to balance in a shorts outfit. And I'm five foot four for reference. So in this outfit that you can see here, I'm wearing a pair of denim shorts with a folded leg, a bit of a cuff, which is great because you can adjust the length to how you like. Now fold it up like this. The inseam is seven inches, so a mid length. And with this relaxed outfit of a basic cami top and a striped shirt, the proportions work and my legs look balanced. But if I unfold the shorts, as you can see here, so that the inseam is now about 10 and a half inches, the proportions are off and my legs look short. If you're in doubt as to what length is right for you, try two things. Stand in front of a mirror, try different inseam lengths to see how you look, and if still in doubt, stand up, put your arms down by your sides, and where your fingertips come to is about the minimum length to feel comfortable in shorts. So my next point is something that we tend to forget, at least I know I do sometimes, and that is what we look like from the back. So point two is a don't. Don't forget about what you look like from behind, especially the cut of the shorts and the position of the pockets. The most flattering ones have pockets positioned higher up the bottom. Now, if the pockets are too low, it gives the impression of a sort of hanging bottom, which isn't a good look. Flat pockets are best as they don't add any volume. Also, the fit is important, which leads me actually onto my next styling point, which is a don't. Point three, don't buy shorts that are too tight or too small. To look good, shorts shouldn't be too tight in the bottom, hips, thighs or leg area. Not only will they feel uncomfortable, especially if they're made of tougher material like denim, but they'll also look much less flattering. The most flattering shorts are body skimming and the leg opening is really important too. It's a little bit like Goldilocks shorts, not too tight and not too loose, just right. If you can get a forefinger between your leg and the inside of the leg opening of the shorts, then they're not too tight. Now, as you can see in this outfit with these gorgeous faux leather shorts from Express, these are a relaxed fit, fairly loose, but they don't add width, just a touch of slouch. And they're a seven inch inseam, which I feel very comfortable in. So the do, is the key to success in order to avoid the risk of shorts that are too tight. Point four, do size up a little or consider doing it. These shorts are a size four US. I tried them in a size two in San Francisco on our holiday here. I could have worn them, but firstly, it would have been a challenge to tuck anything in. Secondly, I would have found it hard to bend over. And thirdly, I preferred the slouchy look of being slightly larger. Also, if you wear shorts that have a space between them and your leg, your legs will look slimmer. 
I would definitely recommend trying several sizes in shorts as the fit and proportion are all important. Now here I've teamed them with a white linen shirt which keeps it tonal and soft as well as cool and breathable. It also adds a different textural element, the faux leather being smooth and soft juxtaposed against the linen fabric. So my next do is point five, do go for high or mid-rise shorts. By the way, if you are enjoying this video, which I really hope you are, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, please subscribe as I'd love to have you in our community. I share styling tips and inspiration on what works and what doesn't every week. I'd love you to comment too. As we've got a fabulous community on this channel and we all love reading the comments. Thank you so much. Okay, so do go for high or mid-rise shorts. They'll be much more flattering. They'll elongate the look of the length of your legs, regardless of how long or short your shorts are and will balance your look. If you wear low rise shorts or low rise trousers too for that matter, your legs will look much shorter as the eye thinks that your legs begin at the top of your trousers or shorts. Also your torso will look a bit longer and off kilter. Another thing to consider is the style and color of your footwear. So my point six is do wear a low heel or flats. The type of footwear you choose to wear will make a huge difference to the balance and proportion of your outfit, both the color and the height of your shoe. A fairly nude colour shoe combined with shorts creates a longer leg line, whilst darker shoes or shoes that are not near the colour of your leg or don't link with the colour of your outfit foreshorten the leg and make your calves look wider at the same time. As you can see with this outfit of cool crisp linen and a rib top, the sandals are transparent so the effect is that they elongate the leg and they don't create a cut off effect at the ankle or on the foot. The eye just goes down onto the leg, onto the foot and onto the toe, giving me at least two inches in height, which when you're five foot four is a really good thing. These sandals do have a heel, but it's very low. As a general rule, the longer the shorts you choose to wear, the more important it is to wear nude or low heeled shoes to add length to the leg. Also sandals or shoes with low coverage on the top of the foot are way more flattering and lengthen the leg. You don't want a shoe with a high vamp which covers the foot. Which actually leads me on to my next don't, which is my point seven, which is don't pair sky high heels with shorts. High heels and shorts are a bit of a tricky combination if you want to look classy and sophisticated. If you want to wear a high heel with shorts, I would suggest something like a wedge, a block heel or espadrilles like I'm wearing here in this outfit. Now these work for a number of reasons. One, they're a nude colour so they don't cut off the leg and secondly they just raise me up without adding any actual heel. They also have a relaxed vibe which combines well with the linen shorts and the relaxed top so the whole look is cohesive. So okay for an easy yet put together look point eight is do wear tailored shorts to look extra put together. Wearing slightly more tailored shorts gives structure and a more defined silhouette. So in this outfit, I'm wearing a slightly more tailored pair of shorts. These are from H&M, so classic. I would really recommend a pair like this in a neutral color, which suits your wardrobe, of course, which you can team with lots of different tops and shirts. For me, they're a real wardrobe staple and they will be the sort of piece that you can turn to year after year. Now I've shot my closet actually for this top, which is Karen Millen, years old, um, but I still love it. Now I've created balance with the fuller shaped shorts by wearing a fitted top, but one that has a sense of width at the shoulders. So the silhouette is quite balanced. Talking of tops is my point nine, which is do take care what tops you pair with shorts. I would recommend not wearing tops that are too skimpy or that reveal too much skin with shorts. We're already revealing leg, so this needs to be balanced on the upper part of the body with a little more cover. Style tip number 10 is also a do. Point 10, do add a third layer for an extra sophisticated look, if that's the kind of look you're going for. So a third layer really ramps up the style and elevates a shorts outfit, as you can see here. Any third layer would work, of course, for example, a denim jacket, a kimono, um, a cardigan, or a shirt, as you can see here. Now, I appreciate that in summer, some of the places that you lucky ladies live, you don't always want an extra layer. But when the evening comes, or maybe you go into some air conditioning, a light shirt like this beautiful one from Bowdoin creates a really lovely put together look. This formula is so flexible, it can be adapted to any shirt that you have in your wardrobe and any color. Now, another alternative is to add a linen jacket if you want to look more formal, perhaps for lunch out with friends or a slightly more dressy occasion. 
This gorgeous and other stories linen jacket is another wardrobe staple, fabulous, um, and it's a classic. With a slightly oversized jacket like this, reveal a bit of skin at your wrist to echo the legs and balance the whole look. Also, with a pair of slouchy linen shorts like these and a loose jacket, keep the silhouette underneath fitted and make sure you wear a fitted cami or a fitted t-shirt to add definition. Point 11 is don't wear cut off shorts, really short shorts that are denim or with frayed hems or with distressed denim if you want to look classy. They're just too short and too teenagery. Instead, opt for linen, chambray, cotton or a fairly dark wash denim shorts that are a little longer. So for my 12th point, it is do choose summery colors and light materials. In the summer in particular, summery light colors and light materials are just perfect. They look modern, youthful and vibrant whilst keeping you cool at the same time. Pastel colors can look wonderful and of course light neutrals and in a light tone are endlessly flexible and versatile. And of course in hot weather, these shades, these light shades reflect off the sun, keeping you cooler. So all the links to the items that I mentioned and the things that I'm wearing in this video are all underneath this video in the video description if you scroll down. I really hope you've enjoyed this video ladies. I'd love to hear your comments under the video. Have an amazing day, an amazing week and goodbye from California. Although I'll be doing some shorts and uh, another video from here as well very soon. And I will see you really, really soon. Lots of love to you all. Bye. Mm -hmm.